What's going on guys? Cartoons here. And if you can't tell, I'm about to move. I've been saying it for a couple weeks now, but the time is finally here. Tomorrow morning I'm getting up and I'm moving everything out of this apartment. So this is the last time you'll ever see me here. Can you believe it? I know, shed a tear, it's sad. It's a sad moment, I've been here for like eight years. It hurts. I figured what better way to say goodbye to this apartment than throwing myself a block party. That's right, I got maze blocks right here. Obviously you see nerd block, you see arcade block, you see horror block, and they're all here. They're all here to tell me goodbye. To say, we miss you, we miss this apartment. But they're gonna make it special for us. So let's see what they got. And for no particular reason, let's start with the horror block. All right, first things first. I'm the realest. It's a pop figure of something I actually know. Can you believe it? This is Will Graham from Hannibal. That's right, I've been watching that show lately. My, my girl got me into it. And the show's actually really good. It's shot really well. It's beautiful. It's gory. Pretty much got everything anyone could ever want. I mean, let's be real. And this is one of the main characters. If you haven't seen that show, go check it out. Next up, we got a DVD, Horror Block Presents, Horror Block Short Film Festival 2015 in association with Rue Morgue. Here's the films that are included right here on the back of the DVD. Uh, pretty much, I will never watch that, ever. Next up, we got uh, Rue Morgue Magazine presents Weird Stats and Morbid Facts. Right here, it's a thick book. Um, let's see, random stuff in here. What's this? You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read you an excerpt, all right? Um, the word zombie is never used in a Resident Evil film. They use the term infected instead. If you don't know, now you know. All right, next up we got what looks like a large postcard of the creature from the Black Lagoon. I think that, that's who that is, right? It says, uh, not since the beginning of time has the world behold terror like this. That doesn't look very scary, I'm not gonna lie. You know, to be honest, it, it looks like the cover of a Nirvana album. Let's be real. All right, next up we got the issue of Rumor Magazine that always shows up. Uh, see here, got the human centipede on the front, which is some gross, gross shit. And last up, we have one of these right here, black, red, and white. <laughs> Boom. Welcome to Silent Hill. Death is no escape. And it's got the uh, the pyramid head bastard. See? I know that's video games and horror. So I, I can deal with that. Now, you know what, horror block? I can deal with that. All right, well, that wraps up the horror block. Let's see what the arcade block can do. All right, first things first, we got an undescriptive cardboard box. All right, inside the box, we have a Zelda heart. Canister. I don't know what you keep in here. Ugh. Apparently you keep farts in there. Now that's what you do. You take this and you just shit right inside and you cover it up and you leave it for some unsuspected person like me to come up and go, hmm, this shit is, what is that? This is, this is not a funny joke. This, that smells gross. That's gross. Next up, we got, it looks like a magnet. Oh shit, look, kick, punch, kick, punch. It's all in the mind. If you don't know what Parappa the Rapper is, then get the hell out! That's right, I don't love you anymore. And if you do know what Parappa the Rapper is, then you know that this is the shit. Next up, we got Kenny from the South Park Stick of Truth game. I don't know if you guys watch my Let's Play of that, but I played all the way through that game. It was incredible. And this is Kenny dressed up as the princess. Kenny looking fine as hell, just like you did in the game, girl. Right. <laughs> this is awesome. Next up, we got, oh shit, it's a foxhound hat. Look, check that out. Got the foxhound symbol on it, and it's uh, pretty much a tactical green hat when you're doing missions. Shit, I don't even know how to put a hat on. I don't wear hats. You guys wear hats? I feel like it makes my ears look too big. How, how cool kids wear it? They wear it like this, wear it like this, wear it like this. Ah! Next up, we got a window cling blue shell on board for all of you uh, Nintendo fans that like to play Mario Kart. Of course, pretty much if you got a blue shell on board, your day's all fucked up. That's right, your, probably, your car is probably flipping over, exploding, Luigi's riding by you like this. They see me rolling, they hate it. Next up, we have a very colorful t-shirt. Boom, we have an 8-bit versus shirt. I probably should be familiar with what half of this is, but maybe it's nothing or maybe it's something real or whatever it is. And lastly, but hopefully not least, we have the OG box, the nerd block. All right, first out of the box, we have a pop figure of Frieza, and this is amazing. This, <laughs> this is my favorite pop figure I've got to date. Look at this, boom, see? It's Frieza's final form from the only real Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. That's right, I'm saying it. All the other Dragon Ball shit is garbage. I don't like that. Dragon Ball GT, what is a shit about that? I'm sorry, Frieza. Boom, up next, we got 
Totoro buttons. Huh? You know what these little guys are? How about that? Some Totoro buttons for that ace. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what Totoro was either. I had to read this little sheet. Up next we got, looks like a bandana and it's, I think, oh shit, it's a Cowboy Bebop bandana. Look at this. Look how sweet this is. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know any characters' names, but I have watched the show and this is actually tight. All right, next up we have a book and Japanese books always screw me up because you read them backwards. I don't know if you people have ever read mangas, but you read them backwards and backwards. This shit is so confusing, I just can't do it. My brain is like, you know what, son, you live in America. No, but it's uh, Neo Genesis Evangelon, maybe issue number one. I don't know, I don't follow the show or the anime or whatever, but there you go. You see, it's black and white. It's uh, probably pretty awesome if you like this stuff. You know, I'm halfway through and I can already tell you that the theme of this is obviously anime. I mean, let's, let's come. Next up, we got another one of those cloth backpack thingies. And this one looks like, uh, I think that's a symbol for Attack on Titan. Isn't that right? See, I keep up with it. I don't watch it. I don't watch anime that much, but I do know a little bit about it. And this is actually a pretty dope bag. See, see that? It's pretty dope. And lastly, we have a t-shirt, which I'm gonna go ahead and guess is anime themed. Boom. There you go. Who was right? That's right, I was. It's a Gundam shirt. I know. Again, I told you. I know what things are. All right, guys, a quick recap of what we had. I'm gonna do my best to fit all this in the screen. This is so much stuff. In the arcade block, we had a Gundam shirt a Neo Genesis Evangelon anime. We had these tutorial buttons. We had this We had this Attack on Titan bag. We had this Cowboy Bebop bandana. And we had this awesome Frieza Final Form pop figurine. Moving on to the arcade block. We had this awesome 8-bit Versus shirt. We had this Foxhound hat. We had this blue shell on board window hanger. We had this Zelda uh, Clear Heart fart container. <laughs> We had this uh, South Park Stick of Truth Kenny princess figurine, and we had this awesome Parappa the Rapper kick punch magnet. Finally, we had the horror block, which contained a Silent Hill t-shirt. We had this Creature from the Black Lagoon big postcard. We had uh, Morbid Fun Facts and Rue Morgue Magazine. And finally, we had the Will Graham from Hannibal uh, Funko Pop figurine. All right, guys, this is everything that we have to offer in May. That's right, this nerd block, arcade block, and horror block. You can't beat, you can't beat this variety of stuff. There's something for everyone in here, and I just love everything in this box so far. You guys know the drill. If you want to get your own box, you can look in the top of my description down below and figure out how to do so. You can get it shipped to your house, and you too can enjoy this variety of amazing and incredible things. All right, guys, thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'll be moving tomorrow, so it might be a little while before I get up and running in a new place, but these will continue once I'm settled in. Now I got more shit to pack up now so I can be ready, but I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I appreciate you coming by. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> love you. Catch you on the next video. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah.